Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all well. Today I have another boot super drugs and savers haul and I also have um, some random bits that I purchased from other places. Um, yeah, so um, let's get started. So I have everything in this bag and I'm going to try and do it in order. So let's start with what I bought from Boots. Um, yeah so what i bought from boots the first item i bought from boots was um the nivea dry confidence 72 hours um deodorant it's one of those roll-on ones and nivea the nivea ones are quite good and this was only a pound um i got some things from the clearance line so in my house um hair brushes just like dis disappear um i don't know where they go they just tend to just disappear into thin air um and it's down to having three little kids um they just get into all my stuff and my son has a habit he has a, a habit of chucking things out from like from the window um or like underneath the bed uh yeah so i saw this this is the um detangle brush it was 325 i'm guessing it was a lot like a bit more than that but on clearance it was um, 325 and i like these sort of brushes i like paddle brushes i don't like um tangle teasers they they don't do anything for my hair like my hair gets tangled so quickly it's unbelievable and a brush like this detangles it rather than a you know a tangled tangle teaser um i then bought this hand cream i'm not sure from which brand uh, it's i'm not sure but um it was 50p why not you know i'm always in need of like hand cream and i really need to i have invested in like more um expensive hand creams because my hands are so they're just dry i don't know why um then i got this this is the charles worthington i'm sorry the lighting is not that great um but this is the only time i can film this so it's the charles worthington bounce perfect finish hairspray this was 175 and normally Charles Worthington product products are quite expensive. Then I bought this. This is the Fish um, Soho London Fish Sticks Frizz Fixing Hairspray. I don't know what that means. Um, but it was on clearance for 150 and I don't know. I just picked it up. Then I bought this. This is the um, glycolic acid um, reassure reassure facing peel. So it's like a face facial peel, and this was two pounds on clearance. And I believe. Oh no! One more thing from Boots. I bought this. Um, Your good skin. Um, your good skin, um, it's in French, um, I 
think this is a face wash or cleanser or something. Gently polishes away excess oil, daily impurities and um, evens skin for all skin types. So it's a brightening exfoliating wash from Good Skin, Your Good Skin. And it was £1.50 on clearance. You all know I like a bargain. Um, now moving along to super drugs. I didn't get too many things, just bits and bobs, really. Um, so from super super drugs, I picked this um super drugs fruity milk chocolate shower gel this is a limited edition scent and it smells like chocolate it smells like hot chocolate like a hot chocolate drink i then bought this um aussie three minute miracle reconstruct reconstructor deep treatment and normally like a full-size bottle of this is like five or six pounds um but you get like these small sachet kind of thing they're like a lot uh cheaper obviously it's one pound nine the usual price but on clearance it was 98 pence so not a huge saving but it is a little bit um i don't know why i'm looking in the bag because i've I have all my items here. Um, I then bought this item. This is the Lip Coat uh, Makes Lipstick Last. The original lipstick top coat. I had this years and years ago. Um, I'm talking 11, 12 years ago. When you didn't have like... Um, long wearing lip products in the market they were very very few um until like liquid lipstick like liquid lips came out and all that you know um people would use this to seal their lipstick and um so i saw it and um it was 4.99 but i i had a pound on my super drugs card so i paid something like three pounds and yeah um i'm excited <laughs> for this the last thing i picked up from super drugs is a bottle of surgical spirit um it's a rubbing alcohol basically it was really cheap i think it was one pound 75 something like that for this bottle and um i had the my other one ran out so I picked up another one and this is really, this is essential for me because, you know, it sanitizes my makeup um, and it's basically a rubbing alcohol. So, you know, it, it, it's, it just does, gosh, I just, my mind just blocked out for a while. It's because the kids are upstairs and I just hope they're okay. Um, my younger twin just, her tooth, like, she just, well, she went to the dentist and the dentist extracted, extracted her tooth out. So she's feeling a bit poorly. Well, not a bit, it was just, she's feeling quite poorly. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, it's a must for me. It's a must. It's, you know, it's. I use it all the time to sanitize my lipsticks, my lip products, or you can like, I tend to dip it in into a spray bottle and just spray my shadows. It's, it's, it's a must for me. Okay. Um, now moving along to what I bought from Savers. Um, so, um, um, my uh, one of my family member just my, one of my family member gave me um some gift money to spend on myself and you know who you are so thank you um 
there was no need honestly there's absolutely no need but she's like no i want it i want to give you you know like i'm like no you don't have to she's like yes yes so thank you um we always we always do this around um eid festival so it was during the eid the eid just went and she you know we tend to like give each other um like money not a lot of money but you know like here that's 20 pounds you know spend that's your eid money or here that's the 10 pounds that's your eid money spend it on you know it's just such um fun thing to do you know um but anyways with that money i treated myself to the infamous prada candy perfume um this is not a cheap perfume it's pretty expensive and um you know it's yeah it's it's bougie but um and i know a lot of people like a lot of people's uh own this perfume and i wanted to buy it from or get it for myself but i just couldn't justify the price um and i don't really have that many bougie perfumes or like, or like high-end luxury perfumes i can name a few i'm more of a celebrity perfume kind of person um but i don't know i just really wanted this perfume so in savers they uh, they have it for 34.99 for the 30 ml bottle so i kept it in its bo box because i wanted to open it with you guys um um This is definitely not going to be an everyday perfume. It's going to be like a special occasion perfume because I, I cannot afford to um, finish up a um, 50, 60 pound worth of perfume on a daily basis, even though I got it for a lot cheaper from Savers. So here it is. Oh, ain't the bottle so damn a gorgeous like look at it oh and it's it's 30 mils it's kind of a little one it's so gorgeous and it's it just looks so gorgeous on your dressing table or your perfume tray and now i finally finally have it let's smell it Oh, it's it's really sweet um but i like it I, I i don't mind that kind of smell unless it's giving me like a headache so yeah um so that's that's the perfume that i bought and then with that money i decided to you know treat myself to some ex like um some hand cream and um I've seen quite a few people mentioning this brand. It's the Okef's Working Hands Hand Cream, guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. So I got the tube version, and I got the um, like this is in a tub. This is the Working Hands Hand Cream. Again, guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. And I think this one was £5 and this one was £4. So, yeah, like, I, I'm i constantly moisturising my hands. Um, I do suffer from, like, um, skin issues. Um just on my hands really nowhere else and uh, like especially during winter winter times or um, 
during the moist weather like I get my skin tends to peel off from my hands and it's gotten a lot better like throughout the years um but I still suffer from it so yeah and um that's everything I bought and the other thing that I'm going to show you are from a random shop random shop or store um I picked I saw these um hair oils um it's um it's the vatica um naturals hair oil um basically they are indian hair oils and um they're really good i picked um there's like four different ones i picked up and i picked um i bought it from a local um you know a local store um where they have like niche products like that like um like that and um for very reasonable prices because i saw that on boots and super drugs like these um vatica hair oils are around four or five pounds a bottle and in that store um they had it that like they're selling it for 279 so a lot more cheaper and um and um yeah you can you can get the like you can get it from you know uh like middle eastern store or asian grocery store places like that will tend to sell products like like natural um products which uh come from Indian the Indian subcontinent uh, or like um, you know um, from the Arab world and yeah like if not uh, I'm sure I saw it on Asda and super drugs so try like try those like um, like one-off stores that you get you know um, you can get it you can get these uh, I think every city has um like at least some sort of um Middle Eastern or Asian grocery. Anyway, so the first one I picked up was the Vatica Naturals Black Seed Enriched Hair Oil, strong and shiny and black seed is very very good for your skin and things like that and um Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him who's the Islamic prophet he actually used to use black seed um black seed for various purposes so yeah that's how good i mean that's how amazing 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 this you know black seed is so yeah then i got the this one this is the the garlic um batica garlic hair oil and it doesn't smell of garlic, it, you know, Mommy, at all. Yes. The, ne me, I'm me. the next one Mommy, I got was the almond version. It's the almond enriched. And then the last one Mommy. is the Mommy. coconut enriched. So, yeah, guys, so that was my haul. Um, it's chaos, it's chaos, so I have to go.